Welcome to the fifth and final presentation for the Spectre Baby USA Certification Education Program. This presentation will review frequently asked questions, cleaning of breast pump parts, and even warranty information. The following video is an overview of the Spectre S1 Plus, S2 Plus, and acts as a how-to video, including questions and troubleshooting that our consumers often have. Hi, so I wanted to give a brief overview in reference to um, the use and cleaning of using your S1 or your S2 breast pump. So when you get your, your breast pump, you will actually notice that you have a backflow protector that is three pieces. Um, in the initial instructions, it refers to boiling of parts. Um, you do not ever want to use in boiling water um, or a sterilization bag the actual silicone membrane um, or the actual duct bill valve that connects to your flange, okay? Um, so with your S2 and your S1, um, the, again, the only difference between the S2 and the S1 is that the S1 has an internal battery and can be utilized without um, the, the uh, plug-in of the AC adapter, whereas the S2 is pink in color, does not have the internal battery, um, and does require it to be plugged in for usage. But they both do come with the 24 and the 28 millimeter flanges. So you have your flange, um, and it is a wide neck. Your duckbill valve would just fit on the bottom there, just like that. We do offer a converter that can be put at the bottom of the flange to be able to be compatible with any narrow neck bottle. Now for your backflow protector, you want to take the silicone portion put it on the smaller, again, you have the three pieces, so on the smaller portion, you want to ensure that it properly fits all the way around. You fit it into the bigger piece. Then this, what we recommend is that you gently screw that into the back of the flange. The collection bottle, you would unscrew the lid. It does have those, um, actually a lock mechanism there to ensure that it stays onto the flange and not to lose any of the precious milk. You would screw that onto here. And the tubing is actually gonna go on the other end of the backflow protector. You do wanna ensure that there are, um, that this is secure onto the back this is secure, and then again, that you've properly secured that duckbill valve um, onto the actual flange itself. Now, for usage, um, you actually would press the button for it to be on. This is the S1, so you do notice that the actual battery um, is shown there in terms of how much um, battery life is left. So when you turn the power button on, it will be in expression mode, and you will notice that when you press the little wave, you'll see that little wave there at the top that's indicating what's called a massage mode. That's gonna be a higher cycle. The cycle is set at 70, and the vacuum can be between one and five. And that can be adjusted with the up and down key there. Now, when your milk does start to let down, you wanna press the wave button again and that's gonna put you into what's called expression mode. Now a healthy full-term baby is gonna be between 46 and 54 cycles per minute. So that is why that you'll normally see that your pump is set in that 54. Um, but you can go all the way down and it does go down to 38. That would be more of 38 to 40 or 42 is more of the younger gestational babies or NICU babies um, that we would recommend that you start on. Um, but again, listen to your body and work with the customization of the pump to find what's gonna work best for you. 
So you can change that cycle from 38 all the way to 54, and the vacuum goes from 1 all the way to 12. Now you do, we do, um, the nightlight that is here, there is that two level nightlight, which is wonderful at night. Um, there is the handle for easy portability. There's the holder in the back that you can use for coffee, for your backflow protectors, um, for the bottle. But you will notice that, um, that the actual backflow protector here is actually going to be moving in rhythm with whatever your settings are for your pump. Now, if you are experiencing any um, uh, loss of suction um, or that you notice that the suction is less than normal, usually the culprit um, is going to be the tubing. So make sure that the tubing has no holes. Um, or it could be this actual backflow protector, ensure that it's securely pressed. Um, we do recommend these backflow protectors be replaced about every three months. Or it could be the actual duct bill valve itself. We want to ensure that it's closed. If you do notice that it's been warped and it's been opened a little bit, that could be causing some loss of suction. We do recommend that you replace those about every three months. The pump will shut off automatically after 30 minutes of pumping. Um, when you turn it back on, it will remember your, um, your customized pumping settings. Um, so again, when you can turn it off here. Now, when you're done pumping, we just recommend that you take the end of the tubing off, that you gently take off the backflow protector. You can get some condensation in here from the warmth of your milk. Or if you have an overactive letdown, or your flange is too big, meaning that too much of the areola is actually being sucked into the tunnel of the flange, if you notice, there is a back, um, like a backsplash protector that, there. However, if you're, um, you're using a flange that is too large, or you have an overactive letdown, sometimes milk actually can um, pass into um, this portion here of the backflow protector. However, it is not going to compromise your tubing, your motor, or your milk, um, as it still is going to be contained in this um, backflow protection um, in the closed valve system. So you may notice some moisture here or some milk. Um, if it's moisture, just wipe it dry with a clean cloth and allow it to air dry. If it's milk, um, use warm water and non-antibacterial soap. Okay? Um, now, in terms of um, any other questions or concerns that you might have, we are available on Twitter, on Instagram, on Pinterest. We also have our Facebook page, and we have our Mom to Mom um, Spectra Breastfeeding Support Group um, that is linked to our Facebook page. So, if you have any questions or concerns, you can go to any of those um, those places for assistance. If you need to submit a claim um, for your pump you can either email our customer service as well as we have a phone number that you can call or you can send a private message to our Facebook page. Um, please do not do um, both of those measures as it could delay uh, the processing of your claim or and getting the support that you need. Um, if there are any further uh, questions or concerns, um, we do have a lot of videos um, and frequently asked questions on our website at spectrababyusa.com. And we are here to help and support any other questions or concerns that you might have. So thank you for being part of the Spectra Baby USA family, and we hope you have a fantastic day. So frequently asked questions and troubleshooting. Troubleshooting your pump. The S2 will function the same as the S1 pump. For demonstration purposes, I am going to troubleshoot the S1 pump. If your pump is not turning on, the first troubleshooting step you'll want to look at is your power adapter. 
you will want to remove the prong piece from the power adapter and then remove the cord from the pump. Next, you will want to push the power adapter on all the way down until you hear it click. Next, you will want to try replugging in your pump until you hear it click. Now, make sure the outlet on your wall is working and replug it into the wall. For your S2 pump, you will want to hold the power button down for 30 seconds. For your S1 pump, you will want to make sure that it stays charging for 4 hours and then hold down the power button for 30 seconds, releasing and seeing if your pump now turns on. After troubleshooting your power cord, if your pump still does not turn on, please contact us at SpectraBabyUSA.com for further warranty information. If your pump does turn on, but has no suction, you will want to make sure that your tubes are completely attached onto the ports, and for single pumping, your air cap is completely covering the second hole, or if you're double pumping, that both tubes are securely pressed onto the ports. You will then want to make sure that your backflow protector is assembled correctly. You will want to make sure that there's no tears in the valve membrane. You will want to make sure that the valve is pressed over the smaller casing, creating a tight seal and that both casings are pressed firmly together. You will then want to make sure that your valves are properly placed on the bottom of the flange. This will create the suction. If these parts are missing, they will not create a suction onto your breast. You will want to make sure there is no holes in any of the air tubes, creating a loss of suction. Once you have double checked your tubing, your backflow protector, and your valve to make sure they are properly set up, retry turning on your pump to see if you now have suction at the breast. If not, please contact us at SpectraBabyUSA.com for further warranty information and support. For troubleshooting your pump with low suction, make sure all your parts are assembled correctly, make sure there's no holes in the air tube, backflow protector membrane, or your duckbill valve, and that all your parts are firmly screwed on. Also, for low suction, make sure that your vacuum level is increased. If you are having trouble with your massage mode being set at 70, that is correct. It should not adjust up or down. Only in expression mode should your pump be able to change cycles. If you are experiencing pain, while pumping, check your breast shield size. Make sure that your nipples are not rubbing on the edge of the shield. Also, check to make sure the suction level is not too high. Try decreasing the suction strength to see if you have no pain. You should not experience pain while pumping if pumping properly. Sanitizing the parts for the first time before use. You will want to boil the, for three to five minutes the plastic pieces of your collection kits. This will include bottles, bottle caps and lids, the flanges, the plastic casings of the backflow protector, and the blue valve if you have a blue valve. You will want to hand wash with warm soapy water your duckbill valves and your white membranes of the backflow protector or the white valve off the blue membrane, as well as your nipples. You will not want to do anything to the tubing. As it is a closed system pump, you will not sterilize the tubing. 
You will then allow your parts to completely air dry before assembling. If need be, dry with a dry cloth. Washing the parts after each use. After each use, you will want to hand wash all the parts with warm soapy water, except the tubing. You will do nothing to the tubing, again, as it is a closed system pump. If used correctly, it will not come in contact with your milk. Be careful with your white valves when attaching them to your breast shield. You will then air dry all parts completely before reassembling, or if need be, dry with a dry cloth. You may refrigerate your parts in between uses if you do not have access to water during the day and follow the washing instructions later that day when you have access to water. Make sure all parts are washed and dried thoroughly following the instructions above for best suction and longer use. It is not recommended to use a sterilizer, microwave, steam bag, or dishwasher dry cycle as part of the cleaning process as the high heat can damage the parts. All parts are covered for 90 days. It is recommended to replace your parts, specifically the backflow protector and the valves, every three to six months depending on use as they are the heart of the pump and will wear down over time. We have discussed throughout this presentation many times that we have an extended warranty. Let's review that there's a 90 day warranty on all accessories with the S1 Plus, S2 Plus, and S9 Plus. There is a two year warranty on the pump and motor for the S1 Plus and S2 Plus. There is a one year warranty on the pump motor and the actual pump of the S9 Plus. Let's look at a warranty claim. When needing to submit a warranty claim, please go to the Contact Us link on our webpage or customer service at spectrobabyusa.com directly and include your insurance, DME order information, or Amazon order ID or transaction ID or Groupon order number, along with your name, phone number, shipping address, and problem you are encountering, as well as the serial number on the bottom or back of your pump for further assistance. Believe it or not, this is the conclusion of presentation number five. Of course, we can, cannot and have not been, a, been able to cover everything in reference to uh, Spectra Baby USA parts, accessories, questions, cleaning, warranty. There's always probably going to be something out there that you are desiring to know. We highly encourage you to go to our website of spectrababyusa.com where we have videos, frequently asked questions, and more information. We also have multiple means of social media by which you can also obtain further information. However, all five presentations, including the overview, were completed by an IBCLC and all information is evidence-based information and accurate, specific to the Spectra brand breast pumps and accessories. Thank you for your participation, and after this will be your quiz.